647, another check on business right now. Mike Apple, good morning. Yeah, morning, Kevin. We're watching the Canadian dollar drop for a second day following the comments by the Bank of Canada Governor Stephen Polos. We weren't expecting much out of that uh, uh, announcement on interest rates yesterday, but indeed the talk about potentially cutting interest rates which is something that uh, Polos was asked about, about the incoming Trump administration. What if the uh, U.S. government goes protectionist and starts to put new taxes and tariffs on Canadian exports and actually hurts the Canadian economy instead of helps us with a rising U.S. economy going forward? Polos said a rate cut, it's a possibility. Well, as soon as you hear a central banker talking about that, you see the dollar drop, and that's exactly what we saw yesterday. And down for a second day. This morning, a Canadian dollar's down to about 75 and a quarter cents. U.S. was down a full cent and change yesterday and of course earlier in the week we saw the US dollar all over the map after some comments by US president-elect Donald Trump so wild times in the currency markets uh, price for oil seeing a little bit of a rebound after hitting a one-month low in yesterday's trading Netflix shares jumping to a record pre-market already up 8% and accelerating the company saw 7 million more subscribers in the fourth quarter of last year 94 million worldwide and making a little bit of money and putting it right back into the company a billion dollars plus in spending this year on 42 original programs for Netflix which is where it's sort of uh, making its bread and butter right now with the uh, uh, number of titles available at 4600 interesting that Netflix was originally uh, founded as a DVD mail order company it still has that business has 96,000 DVDs to rent basically in those red envelopes they still have but uh, they don't even have a marketing budget for that at this point but no plans to shut that line of the business down Trouble for Toshiba, the Japanese-based company, is seeing its stock price tumble 15% in Tokyo trade today. Toshiba has been under scrutiny regarding its U.S. nuclear power plant operations, specifically in the U.S. South, with cost overruns on refurbishing those plants. And they're looking at potentially a $6 billion write-down on Toshiba assets in the nuclear power generation, specifically in the United States, this on this quarter, and the stock of Toshiba down 15% today, and that's on top of the more than 40 percent the shares lost in the uh, first week of this year. Outgoing CEO of CP Rail leaving early, Hunter Harrison announcing he is leaving effective immediately from the Calgary-based company six months sooner than first planned. Now, they've already got a new CEO coming in. Keith Creel is being promoted from the chief operating officer role, but the speculation is Harrison, who's 72, was planning to retire, but instead he's going uh, to probably CSX Corporation, one of the big U.S. railways, to try to do uh, at CSX what he did for CP. Harrison joined CP Rail in 2012 and turned that company right around. It's one of the best performers in the industry right now, and its uh, stock price has uh, quadrupled over his tenure at the Calgary-based company. And Tesla off to a good and somewhat quiet start to 2017. A lot of talk that uh, uh, solar power and electric electrification of cars that might not be in favor with the incoming Trump administration, but instead Tesla uh, seems to have it going on right now. The stock's up 11% year-to-date, getting upgrades and is looking at a very profitable, potentially, and expanding year coming up. Kevin, back to you.